Martina. Emma. Lynn. In this video, you will learn how to set up, load and run an agarose gel. An agarose gel is prepared by dissolving agarose in a buffer using heat. In this gel apparatus shown here, the molten agarose gel is poured into the gel tray, whilst it is orientated in a specific way to allow it to seal inside the gel tank. At this point, the gel comb must be placed into the molten gel in order for wells to form in the agar as it cools. Once the gel is cooled, gently remove the gel tray, rotate it 90 degrees and place it into the gel tank with the comb on the left. Fill the gel tank with a running buffer. Start by pouring buffer in one end at the gel tank until it is full. And then complete filling by pouring over the gel and into the other end of the gel tank. A good level to fill the gel tank to is approximately the same coverage of buffer above the gel as is equivalent to the thickness of the gel as pointed to here. To begin loading your samples, first gently remove the comb by pulling directly upwards on the comb while supporting the gel tray. Samples are prepared in small volumes with appropriate loading die. Slowly withdraw the sample using the appropriate pipette. And then slowly dispense the sample into the well. Resting your elbow of your pipetting hand on the bench will help keep your hand steady. Avoid sucking up air when you withdraw your sample, as this will result in insufficient sample being loaded. And air bubbles will carry sample out of the well. Avoid stabbing the pipette tip into the gel along with pipetting too quickly, as this will also result in insufficient sample being loaded. When loading the gel, find a position that is comfortable. Here, my left elbow is on the bench, whilst my right hand is supporting the barrel of the pipette. Samples will migrate from the negative electrode, which is coloured black, before connecting the power pack Ensure the samples are loaded next to the black electrode. Slide the lid over the electrodes and connect the leads to the power source and turn it on. Ensure the black lead and the red lead are colour matched before switching on. 